Dragon Quest 12 is struggling. So Square Enix is killing its franchises one by one. This is not too surprising here. This is made by an article. Dragon Quest 12 is struggling to hit its more much so audience as well. You know, all recent Square Enix stuff has failed. Okay, all these CP makes games today. Nobody cares about like Falkwe went off Star Ocean, Zack's game. Yes, it's good, but it flopped. All these big games failed, like Final Fantasy 15. No, uh, why are you saying Final Fantasy 15? Final Fantasy 16, okay? Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy 6, 15 still sold better than Final Fantasy 16, okay? Kingdom Hearts 3, I don't know how the game actually, Kingdom Hearts 3 actually sold pretty well. Still doing the retarded Akia console perform times exclusive for 12 months in popular PC after and Xbox as well. The biggest franchise by, by, by none in Japan. You saw? You saw that isn't bigger than Mario, okay? Mario is bigger than Dragon Quest in Japan at this point, okay? I don't think Dragon Quest 12 will sell as much as Mario does in Japan, okay? You know, Mario Kart 8 sold 5 million in Japan, okay? That's the Switch version, obviously, but the games were basically released on the weekend where people don't, don't, so people don't take time off. We all know they love turn-based combat and see a very serious story, story but for free way of selling it. But they want to move the traditional turn based combat, of course, and they want to appeal towards wrestlers by having a full, grim, dark, bizarre story, whereas black and gray more dark sets. So, Square Enix again is betrayed as core audience in Japan, and Dragon Quest will be in yet another in the graveyard of Square Enix games as well. So, that is about Dragon Quest 12. So, yeah, Square Enix is continuing to kill the franchises, which is no one's surprise here. And goodbye.